Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22635.3066 for the version 23H2. Of course, these are pretty much the last few builds for the beta channel until the February release, which will be a huge Windows 11 update with a lot of new features. So, of course, until then, you should expect from the beta channel smaller builds with fixes here and there and small improvements. In this video, we're going to talk about all there is to it in this build and if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one those things being said let's begin the video of course i remind you every time make sure to check out the article below in the video description if you don't know how the better channel system works and how microsoft is testing new features with users in the better channel first of all microsoft is fixing a tap tip.exe crash which could impact the ability to input text also related to the task manager they fixed an issue where dragging the task manager window wouldn't work if your mouse was on the search box related to the narrator they fixed a crash when you tried to add natural voices for narrator in settings and related to voice access they fixed an issue which was causing voice access to crash when setting up new languages Microsoft is also adding the USB 80 gigabyte support in this build of Windows also and this support will initially launch on select devices based on the Intel Core 14th gen mobile processors such as the new Razer Blade 18 this is the first major version update of the USB 4 standard and increases performance to 80 gigabytes from 40 gigabytes. It enables the next generation of high performance displays, storage, and connectivity. It is fully backwards compatible with peripherals built for all the older generations of USB and Thunderbolt and works alongside all of other USB Type C features. So basically, this is all there is to it. This is all that Microsoft worked on on this build. If you want to check out more info, you can check out the article below in the video description if you're interested in that. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Ivan from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.